right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to install um, Flash Logic uh, Remote Start. I already started the work. Man, I forgot to record y'all. Like, you know, I'm just gonna start right now. First thing you wanna do, yo, wanna take apart the um, center console panel. It's, it's real easy, it's just get one of this panel popper tools or you've got like a flathead, just pry it out. You got a couple screws to so take out the radio. Disconnect all that. I'll just kind of like push me, just push it up, disconnect it. Um, and also, you gotta take out, take out this. To do that, there's a screw right here. I mean, there's a panel right here, actually. You pop that out first, then you take out the screw, and there's another screw somewhere down here. And then the, um, this part right here, it should just pop out. And there's also gonna be like a flat uh, metal panel right here, so. These are my four screws. Take that out also. Um, and next you want to do, um, this, let's say it's plug and play, it's really not plug and play, but I mean, it's not that hard. Um, uh, when you come back here, you can see this uh, connector right here. The, uh, the one that comes with the vehicle should be there. You want to take that out and plug it into the um, one that the remote start comes with. And the other end, you want to plug it into here. Then you're gonna reach underneath here. I don't know if camera can see it. Um, somewhere here, up there is like a connector. This connector, I already took it out. You want to push this to the side, this red thing to the side, and then that just pops out. And then in this connector, you want to take the um, um, purple wire and get like a quick splice and connect that to the pink and green wire and then you take a second quick splice and the, that's for the white and yellow wire and connect that to the um I don't know what color this is but it's on the fourth on the sorry the second connector you can see this numbers here so but yellow and white goes to the um fourth one and the uh, and sorry the yellow and white goes to the second one and then the purple wire goes to 420 just get like a quick splice connect so that's what I use there so um, after that um, I believe so after that I want to connect this um, five pin connect the back and just reach out there you can feel it This, I'm just folding the, um, I've never done this before, I'm just trying to fold one diagram. It came with some other, all this, I don't know what all this is, I'm not gonna worry about all that. I think that's kind of like, like the hood and parking lot and stuff like that. I don't think you need to do all those, but you can read it and do it if you want. And then, go ahead and I'll connect the, um, so you want to do that on the other side, this side. We'll do the black one first. We'll the black one first. And then the blue one. So, it's a fresh flashing red light. I think this is the part where you gotta program it. So, just kind of look in here and see how it's doing. So, it says, um, close the driver door. Close that. And then, reopen the driver door to wake up data bus. Alright, then it said the cancer ignition and turn to the on position. Uh, now it's flashing green, and then it says turn to the off position. Air remote key. And press unlock on the 
Surprise the unwelcome. I want you to remove the back who's not quite to remove. Press the march program button. What? Press unlock on the OEM remotes. If back was not quite with OEM remotes. Okay, so. Unlock. And then it says wait. Hold it with sounds all going for two seconds. Fuse here. <laughs> I'll wait until someone calls and walk back to remove the side of sickness. Alright, guys, so I was able to figure it out. I kind of gave up already. I know everything's already put back. I already put everything back, you know. I didn't, I was supposed to kind of lose, but shit, I don't care. Well, yeah, uh, so apparently I did it right because, you know, I wired everything. You know, make sure you did the, do the wiring and then also the the yellow and the purple one that you got to do connect to the other uh, connector that's up here. Don't forget to do that. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. Like I said, I thought I messed up the program and I was trying to call the support guys and try to, like, see if I could, you know, get something done. But apparently I actually did it right because I'm going to show you all now. So I just randomly walked on and it actually starts. Now, one thing I notice is that, uh, so I'm just going to do it real quick. So, I'm going to shut it up. So you just got to hit it three times and it shuts up. So one thing I notice about it is that you can't just... Like, do like three times, like bam, bam, bam. You know, you gotta like, like do like one, two, three, four. So actually start up. So also that I do it because I noticed when I was doing it, I was like trying to rush, like printing, like doing it quickly, and it wouldn't start. So just do it a little bit, just like one, two, three, and actually starts up. So it actually works. I actually did it right, so I didn't to call anybody or anything. So it's like I said, it's not that hard. Like when I saw the paper, I was like, oh damn, look at all this wire and everything. But it's really not that hard. It's really easy. I know the video was kind of finicky because I, I didn't plan to make a DIY video or anything, but, you know, if you got any questions, just put it down. I'll be able to answer everything. It shouldn't take too long, you know, to do it. So uh, that's it, guys. I'm out.